I'm going to quickly go through the steps on how to set a minimum order for free shipping. So if you're just setting up your cart, I want to go through these beginning steps so you know where I started. First, you're going to go to WooCommerce and Settings, which will take you to this screen. And next, you want to go to Shipping tab and Shipping Classes. I've added a shipping class for standard shipping by going to this button and just typing in standard shipping and saving the shipping class. Okay, once you've got your standard shipping, assuming that's what you're going to be using as a base shipping method or class, I should say, now you need to add that shipping class to all of your products. So if you go to products, like I have here, I'm going to select all of my products. If you have a whole lot, this is a big time saver. If you just have a few like this, you can manually go in and edit each one. I'll show you both, but if you go into a single product, this is a variable product, by the way. You'll see shipping. And I've added the shipping, standard shipping class. Then you're going to update. This sets it to all variables, all variations of the product. So if I go to variations, if you do need to add like a large order shipping class to like these gallons, you can, right now it's set to the shipping parent, which would be the standard class, or you can change it here to large order, whatever it might be if it's custom. So then you'll want to update the product. A quicker way to do that if all of them are going to be standard shipping is to go to all your products, select all of them under bulk actions, go to edit, apply, and it gives you shipping class and you can set standard shipping and do apply. That'll set all these products to standard shipping. Okay, once you've done that, you need to go to WooCommerce settings. Shipping tab. And you'll see I've got shipping zone here for US. Go to edit or add a new shipping zone if you don't already have one. I have got free shipping three to seven business days, which was automatically loaded. And it has local pickup, flat rate. You can set, I've added the flat rate and set some fees here for the standard shipping method. But for free shipping, which we want a minimum order, and it's going to calculate based on the amount, or you can have a coupon. So let's do a minimum order or a coupon. I set my minimum order to 75. Save changes. Okay, next let's go over to the shop. I'm going to add some t-shirts. And for now, let's just add one. Go to the cart. So this should charge us shipping based on the minimum order being less than 75 right now. Let's change this so we get over 75. So we've reached the minimum, it's telling us we get free shipping. It's also showing this flat rate. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't automatically hide the flat rate. I don't know why you would choose that if you automatically get free shipping now. So we're going to look at how to hide the flat rate when you qualify for free shipping. I'll post this link in the description, but these are the steps for hiding the flat rate when we qualify for free shipping. So assuming you're just starting with WooCommerce, you're going to have at least 3.0. This is the code snippet you're going to want to copy, or 
there is a plugin available. I'm just going to show you the code method for now. So selecting all the code, we're going to copy it. And in your functions file of your child theme or your theme, however you have your setup, mine's a child theme, you can open your functions file and paste it in here. Or if you're scanning within a folder, like I am, I'm going to add another file for this. I'll just show you in functions though, so you can, you can see what's happening. Now I'm going to go ahead and save this, and it's not going to refresh yet until we clear the transients. So it says up here, before adding your snippet, um, you need to clear your cache within WooCommerce. So go to WooCommerce, Status, Tools tab, and we need to clear the transients. We're going to go back to the cart, refresh, and now that flat rate is gone. So if I don't qualify for the free shipping, it's going to go ahead and give us the flat rate automatically, unless you have any other rates like expedited. So those are the steps on how to do a minimum order that qualifies you for free shipping. There's a few more steps than you might have imagined. If this video helped you out, please like the video and subscribe. Thanks for watching.